Welcome. Welcome Thank back. you very much. Thank you so much for joining us here at 726. Uh, we are here in our Harrison studios. And Where are what's we? so funny? I don't know. I don't think I had to focus. <laughs> you need to focus. I do need to focus. You're, you're a blurry person. I... What does that mean? Well, you uh, to be the opposite of focused. You're blurred. I've got so many things going on in my little yeah. brain. Is your that life it's a blur? Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, it is. A little bit. What are, you, what are you doing these days? Okay. Took my trip to Kansas City, which was Should I take notes? grand. It was wonderful. And yeah. do you know who Lou Diamond Phillips is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He played the king and the king and I. I got to see it at a theater Did he there. play the king? He did. It was awesome. Did he he play was the very, eye? very good. What? Did he play the eye? What? Did he play the eye too or just the king? No, he was just Was the he king. a good king? Or he was, was he, a very good king. Was it kind of like he just did that because he said yes I don't, to the job. This, and he said something, you know, Yul Brenner used to do it and he, he had like 2,000 performances of it yeah. and Lou Diamond Phillips is, I think this was his 556th one or something. Oh, really? He's gotten some Tony Awards for it. So, oh. so other people appreciate him as well. It was very good. Uh, we were in the back though, you know, and I wished I'd had some binoculars because then I could have seen him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I saw him, but you know, you can make out any face. It's nice to see a professional performance, isn't it? It is. And all the the set and mm -hmm, all that mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. really quite spectacular mm -hmm. it was a big outdoor theater and it was yeah really neat last year i went to branson to see the um uh peter pan with, was that, uh, with kathy, kathy Rigby? oh it was awesome it was it was it was awesome i like those kind of productions and you have had your acting debut now mm -hmm. in harrison arkansas and rave reviews for oh really dan the man Re Raynard <laughs> started to call you something else. <laughs> you were just Reject precious. Reject is what you were trying to say. You were so cute. You and your little toy. I just laugh. I well, I'd like so to funny. thank all the people that came out to see it. I mean, there's, a, there's a lot that didn't get to see it, and and we're trying to work on that. Try to get people right. uh, introduced to 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 uh, the lyric theater and and the plays that go on. A lot of people just don't go. They and they don't. don't they may have never taken it. that first step to go. Yeah. But you know, as a actor and as actors, it means a lot to have people in the audience that mm -hmm. want to come and see because you do put a lot of your time and effort and work into it. And we, I mean, we do it because we love it. We do it because we love the arts. Mm -hmm. But we want to see people come out and support yeah. that as well. We did three nights. We did Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and every audience was different. Mm -hmm. And it, it was it's kind of odd because. You know, you do you do the practicing. You you know the lines, and and when you first hear the lines, they're funny, and then they they're, they're still funny later on. But when the audience thinks it's funny, it's just like wow, this it is. It gives a this, whole new. Um, yeah, it, it puts a little. It, it puts the whole thing together. Right. So it, it was fun. I I enjoyed myself. Well, I'm I'm rehearsing for two different productions right now. That's why I'm a little scared. Oh, you're in Annie. I'm in Annie, which we had our first read through last night, and it's going to start shabang going on and then Cameron Carlton's going to round out the show but he's going to talk about mm -hmm. Gleeful Review which I'm doing a part in that and that's quite intense too so yeah, I don't understand that I'm living at the lyric I don't watch that show I'm just not interested in the, in that you should start watching TV show. I, I was just like you oh. I was a woman you were a woman I was a woman just like you <laughs> you were a woman and now you're not a woman I am a no I didn't watch it and then I started watching it and got really quite hooked on it mm -hmm. and he's Taking him through. Well, I'll, we'll let him talk about okay, it. But right. there's some kid, a lot of kids involved, and it's nice to see that outreach. Well, there's a, there's a lot of plays coming up in the next few months, and I want to please look in Sunday's paper if you get the newspaper because there's going to be a full page spread about the Ozark Arts Council and what's going on and about upcoming things, mm -hmm. and and it'll be worth your read to uh, and encourage you also to become a member because. That's how they support them. Yeah, and, and, and in recessionary times, I mean, those are the first things that, that people cut out of right. their budget, and, and they, they, really need to, they really need your help right now. And so. there's some things that they're bringing back that used to be in force um, in earlier days of the Ozark Arts Council, mm -hmm. which I think are quite exciting and something that you as patrons will enjoy. Trying to make it more affordable. You and bet. And more enticing for people to come down and enjoy themselves at the Lyric. That's right. It's, it's a gem we, we need to, to keep, and I mean, it, well, it, it is. is. I mean, at, at one time when, when it uh, was, what, what, what do you call it? Dilapidated? It was dilapidated. Yeah, and, and uh, all the work that went into it, all those people that, 
uh, individuals and, that went in there Kim and Bailey right. and, and all those people that went in there and had a vision for right. it. And uh, we need to keep it. You bet. So, support it. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, a good lineup. We do. do you have anything else you need to throw out there, or you get? No. I just like to thank people that, that came out to see the see our production. You know, good. I, was, I was involved in it, and and I, what I'm are you doing your next one? I don't know, but I was asked to be in in Annie. Are you gonna? I I don't think so. Oh come on, you can no. sing, and you can be a man. Let's, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a man. <laughs> let's let's tell people who's on the show today. Okay, we have Nancy Atkinson and Patty Mills here, and they're going to talk about the Elk Festival, mm -hmm. which is just right around the corner. And if you've never heard of Elk Yelp, they're going to you're going to hear one. They're going to hear one. But that's always that's a neat event. You ever heard of Elk Yelp? I've never heard of an Elk Yelp. I don't even know if Elks Yelp. They may not. I think but they we're going to find out what they. I think it's called bugling, isn't it? Probably. You might yelp, Elks bugle. Okay, we have Carrie, Alex, Adam, and Aggie. They are running a kids produce stand, and I think that's the coolest thing that. we're going to talk about. I that. do too, and they have a, a a goal in mind, and and I think that all we should all support them. Mm -hmm. Rachel McNair with Seaport Airlines will be on the show. We will also have Trish Valians and Brad Otwell talking about red white, and you. Mm -hmm. And then rounding out the show, we'll have Cameron Carlton, who is the director for Gleeful Review, which will be at the Lyric. Good. So okay. let's go to break, and when we come back, we'll be visiting with Nancy and Patty. Stay with us.